on guys in today's tutorial I'm going to be covering how to set up an accelerometer with the Raspberry Pi in this case we're using the ADXL345 sensor so this is essentially a I squared C device in my short experience using it the, it performs pretty well and it's also relatively low cost at around I would say like five dollars on Amazon or eBay and as always all the links affiliate links will for these parts will be listed down below. Um, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the things that you're gonna need for this tutorial include the sensor and four female to female jumper cables. So the first thing that we need to do is wire the jumper cables to the sensor. You can see there's a lot of pins on the sensor, but we're only gonna be using four. We're gonna be using the 3.3 volt and the ground as well as the SCL and SDA pins. So the first thing we're going to do is hook up power. So I'm going to be using the this red and brown jumper cable. So the red jumper cable will hook up to 3.3 volts here. And then the brown will be hooked up to the ground pin. Okay, that's done. So we have this orange pin here and I'm just going to hook it up to the SCL pin. And then finally this green jumper cable I'm going to hook up to the SDA pin. And then there you go, we're all wired up on the sensor side. So now we got to hook it up to the Pi. So the red power cable needs to be hooked up to 3.3 volts so that's the first pin on the bottom row here sorry I'm sort of obscuring your vision uh, and then we have ground so that's the third pin on the top row and then finally we just need to hook up the I squared C pin so need reference this real quick so I don't wire this wrong. So SCL is the third pin. SCL is orange. SCL is the third pin on the bottom row. So one, two, three. And then that leaves SDA, which is the second pin on the bottom row. And there you go. So that sort of completes the physical setup for the Raspberry Pi on this accelerometer sensor. So we're gonna move on to the computer, walk through the Python script, watch it in action, and also talk about some possible use cases for the sensor. So let's head on over. I pulled up this Git project. Uh, created by TDI Cola. So this is the software that we're gonna to run to interact with the accelerometer and it uses I squared C. So um, let's go ahead and pull down the project. So the way that we do that is just, we just clone this link here. So copy. I've already fired up a SSH session with my Pi. So I'm just gonna type git clone the project essentially. Um, before we go ahead and set up, set it up, we need to do one thing and we need to enable the I squared C interface. So we, we're going to type sudo raspy config and then we're going to go to interfacing ob options, select I squared C. I, um, and in this case, I already have it enabled but I'm just gonna walk you through it. So now that we know for sure I squared C is enabled and we can just go to finish. And to physically check that our device is hooked up to the uh, Raspberry Pi, we're just gonna run this command, which is sudo I squared C detect dash Y one. And as you can see here, uh, there's this integer 53. So 
we know that's good. If you don't see anything, that means either your sensor is bad or you haven't wired improperly. So now that we've gone through the checks, let's go ahead and uh, install that Git project. So if we scroll down here, um, he's actually provided the instructions. So if we type ls, we can see the project that we've pulled down. I'm going to go ahead and cd into it. So cd ada tab over tab complete. Um, type ls again. We can see this setup. Python script, so I'm just going to copy the command he's outlined here, sudo python setup install. I've already installed this, so you'll probably see some different output. So that's done. So now we can navigate to the examples subfolder. So cd examples and I'm just going to display the contents of simple test. So sudo nano simple test.py. This is the script that you would um, edit in order to change the functionality with your accelerometer. So just uh, walking through his script, he's imported some libraries here, and this is essentially where he's reading the values and printing them to the screen. So this time.sleep value uh, essentially defines the refresh rate. So if you want to refresh a little bit faster, you would reduce it to, for example, 0.25. Um, but let's go ahead and, and run this and see how it, how it functions. So I'm just going to hit Control X and get out of there. So now we can just do sudo, or actually we don't need sudo, Python um, simple test.py. And as you can see here, it's reading the values. Values. If I were to move the uh, the sensor, which I'll go ahead and do right now. You can see that you get the different positional data for the three different uh, planes, so X, Y, and Z. Um, let's go ahead and stop this script. I'm going to go ahead and try and increase the refresh rate a little bit. So sudo nano simple py. Scroll down. Let's change this to 0.25. I think if you want to get really close to real time, you do 0.1, but I think you're going to run into a performance bottleneck if you go any lower than this, but your mileage may vary. It's just what I've come to experience. So let's just do that and rerun the script. You can see it's outputting a lot faster. So, yeah, that's essentially the tutorial for today. I just wanted to show you how to get the sensor up and running. I think I touched on possible use cases at the beginning of this video. So there's a number of use cases you could um, use a sensor for. One thing I could think of is sort of a, a trigger of some sort. So you could set a threshold for one of the planes. You'd have to fine tune it to your application. So let's say you know the X plane exceeds 300. It triggers some sort of action. Um, or you can graph this data. So I, I don't know if you're or in some sort of vehicle or something, you could like 3D model the position and rotation. Uh, but that, those are that's a little bit advanced. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I know it's, it was a little bit all over the place. I apologize about that. Um, stay tuned for upcoming videos. Uh, it's always appreciated. You, you know, if you like, comment, subscribe.
Yeah, and uh, happy hacking. Peace.